good day. Welcome to Charlotte, North Carolina. I'm Greg Greenewald, author of Destination Charlotte, the book. And today's edition of Charlotte Facts, Stats, and Trivia is brought to you by Rod Potter's Charlotte New in Town group at www.charlottenewintown.com and Destination Charlotte, the book at www.destinationcharlottethebook.com. Thanks to its prime location at the intersection of I-77 and I-85, as well as its manufacturing strength, Charlotte Mecklenburg is one of the nation's leading distribution centers. The city is home to distribution operations for such diverse companies as Family Dollar Stores, Black & Decker, General Motors, Lucent Technology, and TJ Maxx. The Charlotte region is home to over 300 logistics and 100 distribution centers with 24 million square feet of distribution space and 300 trucking companies. The Charlotte Air Cargo Center at the Douglas International Airport provides one half million square feet of space and gives manufacturers quick access to the runways, railroads, and the interstates. The area's biggest distribution centers include Lowe's Companies, 1,474,000 square feet, and Black & Decker with 1,365,000 square feet of distribution and warehouse space. A well-established network of ground transportation and other services complement Charlotte's air service. The Charlotte region is the center of the country's largest consolidated rail system, Norfolk Southern Railway and CSX Transportation link 43,200 miles of rail between Charlotte and 23 eastern states. Charlotte also is the nation's 12th largest trucking center with more than 265 firms operating here and employing more than 9,780 workers. Charlotte Douglas International Airport is currently in the process of adding a $90 million intermodal transportation center that will allow fast and easy connectivity of air, rail, and truck freight. The new intermodal center will quickly become a major hub for freight connectivity in the eastern U.S. NASCAR is more than a sport in Charlotte. It's a major industry throughout the Carolinas and impacts the region to the tune of $4.5 billion annually. NASCAR and NASCAR-related industries employ 27,000 North Carolinians. Charlotte's new NASCAR Hall of Fame will add millions in tourist and convention-related revenues to the local economy for years to come. Coca-Cola has been part of Charlotte and North Carolina history since 1902 when entrepreneurs J.P. Harrison and Luther Snyder started selling Coca-Cola in bottles in the communities around the state. Today, Charlotte is home to the largest independent Coca-Cola bottler in the nation, Coca-Cola Bottling Company Consolidated, headed by CEO J. Frank Harrison III, great-grandson of the pioneering Coke bottler. Belk Department Stores were founded by William Henry Belk and his brother John M. Belk in 1893 in the Charlotte area. For decades, the Belks have operated a store near the city's crossroads of Trade and Tryon Streets. Today, the third generation of the family leads Belk Incorporated with 300 stores in 16 southern states with $3.5 billion in annual revenues and employs over 20,000 people. At the turn of the century, Philip Lance and Salem Van Every embarked on a mission to create the perfect sandwich cracker and the Lance brand was born. Lance now has over $920 million in annual revenues and employs over 5,000 people nationwide. Lance brands include Cape Cod Potato Chips, Tom's, Stella Doro, and Archway. In 2010, Lance merged with Snyder's of Hanover, the Pretzel King, forming Snyder Lance Incorporated, which continues to be headquartered here in the Charlotte area. More than 10,000 workers are employed in healthcare and life science occupations in the greater Charlotte area, with an additional 7,600 workers in pharmaceutical and medical equipment manufacturing. Over 200 pharmaceutical and medical equipment manufacturing companies have facilities in the Charlotte region. Presbyterian Healthcare operates four major hospitals in the Charlotte area, including the largest private community hospital in Charlotte, Presbyterian Hospital. This facility offers specialized treatment centers, including a women's center, a children's hospital, cardiovascular institute, cancer center, and behavioral health center. The Presbyterian Orthopedic Hospital is one of the nation's foremost facilities for orthopedic injuries, disease, knee, and hip replacement surgeries. 
The Carolinas healthcare system is the third largest in the United States and their flagship facility is the Carolina Medical Center in Charlotte. The Carolina Medical Center is home to an academic medical center and teaching hospital, a level one trauma center, and the Levine Children's Hospital. In an effort to become a leader of innovation and encourage scientific development, the Charlotte region has shown strong support for the development of new research facilities. The Kannapolis Research Center, located 30 minutes from Charlotte, is the brainchild of Castle and Cook's chairman, David Murdoch, and is a unique collaborative effort between private industry and public educational facilities to create a world-class campus for nutrition, health, and biotechnology research and development. This $1.5 billion development offers more than a million square feet of state-of-the-art laboratories, classrooms, and office space. This private and public collaboration includes research partnerships with Duke University, the University of North Carolina, North Carolina State, and North Carolina Community College System. Duke was originally founded by two brothers, Dr. Walker Gill Wiley and Dr. Robert H. Wiley, who owned a plantation on Lake Wiley that created power with a early hydroelectric power system. The two brothers convinced another pair of brothers, James Buchanan Duke and Benjamin Duke, to invest in a series of hydroelectric power plants along the Catawba River. The company was incorporated as Southern Power in 1905 with Dr. Walker Gill Wiley as president and Benjamin Duke as first vice president. Today, Duke is a leader in nuclear power alternate energy sources such as wind and solar. In January of 2011, Duke merged with Progress Energy. The $13 billion utility merger will provide electrical power to over 7 million customers in six different states. Charlotte's city-owned and managed convention and exhibition facilities generate millions of dollars in economic impact to the region from the many conventions, trade shows, and conferences they host annually. The Charlotte Area Visitors Authority operates the 20,000-seat Time Warner Center Arena, the 9,600-seat Bojangles Arena, and the 2,600-seat Ovens Auditorium, as well as the 90,000 square feet Charlotte Convention Center with a 280,000 square foot exhibition hall. In addition, the city owns the 72,500 seat Bank of America Stadium and our new NASCAR Hall of Fame with a 44,000 square foot ballroom that's attached to the convention center. Charlotte's hospitality industry employs over 60,000 people in Mecklenburg County and generates over three billion in annual revenues. Former Mayor Harvey Gantz says, Charlotte is a small town that has grown big, offering a quality of life found in a close-knit community, but surrounded by all the advantages of a big city. Thank you for watching, and we hope you've enjoyed today's edition of Charlotte Stats, Facts, and Trivia. If you'd like to receive a complimentary copy of 101 Things to Do in Charlotte, please visit the website www.charlottenewintown.com.